Hi all, welcome to another movement series for today. So for today's tutorial, what we'll be going through is that we'll be going through how to create um, moving butterflies that um, changes colors every time it creates a clone of itself. So let's get right to it. To start off, we will need a butterfly sprite. So I've created the butterfly sprite using the options that I have in the left panel here. Um, you'll see it's actually um, a combination of all the the line and the rectangle and just actually reshaping all of this to get what I like and then for the wings I've used a, a gradient of pink and purple for our video today and what you see that's a little bit different today in our video is that um, I have multiple costumes for my butterfly and it's because we'll be using this to demonstrate how you can create the motion of flapping wings just to show that our butterfly as it's flying is actually flapping its wings to create that motion so um, why do we have multiple costumes here um, if you sort of think about it when we create animation um, there are multiple frames that you actually create just to get a smoother look so we're actually doing this as well so the more costumes you have then um, the motion that we're trying to create and code will be a lot smoother so for the purpose of this video i've created five costumes so you'll see that as i move along costume one two, three, four, five. The difference is in the positioning of its wings. So these wings are slowly moving downwards for every costume. So when we actually coat this later on, its wings will sort of be flapping from top to bottom repeatedly in a forever loop. So uh, you get to see this once we have completed our coding later on. So let's move on to the coding for our butterfly. So to start off with, um, the end goal of our tutorial today is to actually create um, multiple butterflies that are flying from the left all the way to the right and it keeps changing colors and every clone that comes out um, has a different color and it sort of flies in a, a randomized motion from the left to the right and as it flies it's actually flapping its wings as well so it's a little bit more interactive so when this green flag is clicked I'm gonna add a forever loop and an instruction for my butterfly sprite to create clones of itself and I'm going to make it wait as well every time it creates a clone otherwise you just get a, um, an army of butterflies that just comes out and it will be looking very strange so next is telling our sprite what to do when we click the green button as well so let's create the instruction block for the clones so here, what I want to do is that I want my sprite to go to a specific position on the x-axis. It can be anywhere along the y from top to bottom. So, and we want it to glide all the way to the right side of our backdrop. So also the same anywhere between the uh, y-axis, but we'll keep our x constant and we'll choose glide so that it's a lot smoother. So we'll get the motion blocks. So I'll get a go to and I will also get a glide here and we'll keep our x constant so so for the backdrop the other end would be around negative two four five let's say and then for the other end it will be a positive two four five and we'll get the operator block as well to randomize the y-axis so from top to bottom that will be negative 180 and then we'll have the positive 180 and same for the glide block and 180 here. Okay. So we'll also need to add the show and hide, otherwise our sprite will not know when to come out. Let's get the show, put it over here when it starts its clone. Yep, as you can see on my screen, it's already following the code. And then let's do a hide as well. So let me correct this. So it needs to glide to a random position. 80 and 180 here so as you can see my sprite is actually flying across from the left to the right at a really fast pace so we need to slow that down so I, I quite like putting in three because then you can see multiple butterflies um, in the same backdrop at the same time so as um, we mentioned earlier to get our sprite to fly from the left to the right we'll randomize our y position and then we'll keep our x constant and glide let's do three seconds um, or more then we'll have the butterflies flying at a more slower pace so for now um, we've already achieved our goal of getting our sprite to fly from the left to the right in a randomized manner so let's um, create the motion the flapping motion for the butterfly so another instruction block for the butterfly clones 
So let's get the control block. And then what I'll do is that I'll do a forever loop as well. And then we'll get the costume change right here. So I will get a switch, costume 5. Let's start with costume 1. And then I will add a weight as well. So every time it changes its costume, there's a short period uh, between every costume. So you can sort of see the one itself a bit clearer. So, But we'll keep it short. Otherwise, you actually never end up seeing it by the time it reaches the end of the video. So let's put 0 0.1. And I'm going to repeat this so that it switches between 1 all the way to 5. And now I'm going to add this into my forever loop. So as you can see, now my butterflies are already flapping its wings. And one other thing that you can do to sort of kick it, this up to a notch is to change your butterflies. So my butterflies here are all of the same color because that's the um, color that I've chosen for its wings. But if I want to make it look like I have different butterflies coming out from left to the right, you can do this by randomizing the colors of your butterflies itself. So go to looks and then I am going to change its color effect. So at the moment, um, I have this at 25, but if we it will be good to actually have this randomized so that you know it will be completely random what kind of colors are coming out. By default, it starts from um, 1 to 10, but we want a bigger variation. So I'm just going to switch this to maybe 10 and throw in a really huge number, maybe around 300. And let's see what happens. So as you can see on my screen right here, every sprite um, has a different color, blue, greens, pink, um, yellow, and then what it looks like is that, oh, you look like you have a different colored sprite coming out every time, and it's flapping its wings as well, so it's quite a nice motion to add in. So as you can see now for my video, my sprites, they're actually facing the same direction every time they fly, so uh, what you can do is that you can add a, a rotation, so we'll get the block for the clone, and then we'll add a forever loop. I'm going to use the turn motion block. And as you can see, it's already rotating now in a quite a crazy manner. So also what we need to do is that we need to reduce the numbers that we're putting in in the uh, rotation so that it doesn't look too awkward. I don't want to put in the same one so that it doesn't cancel out each other. So I'm just going to put like two or six. You can play around with the numbers that you like so that you achieve the kind of uh, motion that you're going out for. So I will need to add a weight in between because now they're sort of rotating in circle. So as you can see, once I added the weight, it's actually flying and waiting before it turns. So um, it's up to you how long you want to put in the weight. I'm just going to put 0 0.1 so that it, it turns a bit more, it's a bit clearer every time it turns. And then I'm also going to add one more weight before my forever loop so that there is a time before Okay, so just 0 0.1, just something short but and keeps it subtle. So there you go. Now my butterflies are actually flying and facing a different position in a randomized manner now. So it's a bit more natural because usually you don't see butterflies all flying towards just one direction. We hope that this has been really useful to you. And if you do like it, please do hit like and subscribe. Thank you and we'll see you next time.